Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an application for your iPhone as well as your iPod Touch called Moby Tile. Open up Moby Tile and it's going to sign us in with our account. When we first launch the application for the first time, you're going to be asked to sign in with either your email address or you can do a simple sign in with your Facebook or Twitter accounts. And then once you've done that, you're going to be brought into the page where you can begin adding more social networks, blogs, RSS feeds, file storages, and create a workflow through the wizard. So here's the main screen. I have some tiles that I can choose from. Contacts, stream, storage, RSS feed, account, and then settings. So if I come into the stream, this is where I've added different streams. I have RSS feeds, social, which is basically all my social network feeds, and then pages. The way that you add a stream is in the bottom right hand corner, tap on the three little buttons, and here we can manage streams. So here I have social, RSS, and pages. Tap on the bottom right hand corner again, you can either mark all or you can create a new stream and if you've marked the feed you can unmark it or delete it. So tapping new stream will allow me to create a new stream, give it a name, I'll go ahead and type here a name, and now I'm going to choose my sources. So here are social accounts, I can choose all my social accounts if I would like to, I can choose Facebook pages, and I can even choose all my RSS feeds. So now that I've chosen all of my streams, what I can now do is also apply a filter. Tap on the bottom right hand corner again. We're going to tap on manage filters. We'll go and save our changes before we continue. We'll add it to our device profile and I'll tell you about device profiles here in a little bit. And now we're going to add in a new filter. So my filter name, we'll just go ahead and give it a name. And I want to filter out keywords. So if I didn't say I don't want iPhone showing up. I'll tap add and I can either include or exclude. So if I choose exclude, it's going to take anything that includes the word iPhone and exclude it from a list. So I'll go ahead and tap that, we'll tap save, and now let's come back out to our stream options. Here I am at the test stream that we created. I'll apply my filter and now I'll tap save. So whenever I go into my test feed, anything that has the keyword iPhone is now going to be excluded. Now let's go ahead and show you how to add in some mobile streams. We're going to come into our account and then we're going to tap on linked accounts. Here I can choose the accounts I want to sign in with. You're going to notice at the bottom of the screen there's going to be little different icons. So I can link with a Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, Instagram, Flickr, Dropbox, and Google+. More are coming soon, but right now you can link as many accounts to these services as you would like to. So if I wanted to say add in my Twitter, just tap on Twitter, it's going to bring me to my Twitter login, and here I'm going to fill in my information and be able to log in with my Twitter. And it's going to add that Twitter account into my list of linked accounts. And these linked accounts are how I get my feeds that we just saw how we set up. Also notice in here I have my devices. That actual device profile that we saw earlier is going to link up to my devices. So when I come back out, we will come back out to the home screen. We'll tap on settings and then we're going to tap on device profile. So what I can do now is set up device profiles. So whenever I log into a different device, I can actually have different things show up. Everything will sync across multiple devices, but the profile will allow me to set up personal profiles for each device. So that way I can have only certain things show up. And if this again is your first time and you want to take a little bit of an easy way of setting things up, tap on the wizard and you'll be able to go through a mobile wizard and it's going to take you through each step of adding in an account, adding in filters, adding in different things inside of Moby Tile. Tapping on RSS feeds here will allow me to view all the RSS feeds that I've currently added. Tapping in the bottom right hand corner, I can tap new feed and it's going to allow me to enter in a feed name and the feed link. Now the way that we access everything is from the main screen. We have streams, so here are my RSS feeds, my social pages, and tests. Those are all the streams that I set up. So now if I tap on social, it's going to show me all the streams that I have in social. It's going to refresh, and in this one I've added in all of my social networks. So now I can see, I can search, repost, comment, like, share, all of my basic options here in mobile tile. We'll come back one last time, and if I tap RSS feeds from right here on the home screen, I can view all the RSS feeds I've added, and if I tap on one, I can edit that. 
but I've added these RSS feeds to an actual stream. So when I come into my stream and go into RSS feeds, here I can see the stream of RSS feeds that I added, and I'll be able to read the articles, then share them, comment, like, and even repost them. And one last final area is we'll come into our storage. Here I can see all the storages that I've added, such as device storage, I've got Dropbox, local photos, and even MobiTile Cloud. Now if I come into Dropbox, it's going to show me all the folders I have on my Dropbox account. I can tap the plus button here, and then tap in the bottom right hand corner, see I can create folder, properties, copy to my device storage, move to a folder, and even delete. So I can move this around between folders and all that good stuff here with inside of all of my sharing options. And even in the storage, I can even view local photos that are on my device. So this will open up my camera roll. You see the moments here. I can see all the photos that are stored on my phone. And then I have contacts where I can see all the contacts that I have on my device. And I can go ahead and text them, call them, or do whatever I need to do with any of my contacts. And then there's even messages down here in the bottom. I can see messages if I had any incoming Twitter messages or Facebook messages. I even have notifications and then events. And then you can always swipe out in any one of these menus, swipe out from the right, and you can quickly jump in in between any one of the tiles inside of the application. So once again, this application is called Moby Tile. If you like it, pick it up in the App Store for your iPhone or iPod Touch.